Hi members and welcome to this week's tip of the week and uh, we're going to follow on from the tip we rolled out last week about transition, that magic move into the golf ball and applying pressure to the ground, using the ground forces in the golf swing to assist you with compression, accuracy and of course power past the ball. Today I wanted to talk about the two different spine angles that occur during the golf swing that I see on a daily basis where the body either, the spine angle, either moves out from underneath the golfer and recovers, or one that moves away, to the textbook one that which we try to encourage golfers to do, where it looks more like the spine's an axle, where the body is winding up around the spine and in turn giving the lower body longevity. And I think the big thing we struggle with as we get older is protecting our lower body and our back with, uh, with the right kind of exercise. So today I wanted to pass on a couple of exercises to warm up your body before you go to golf. I see your average golfer arriving at the course, teeing off, very little warm up if none. Some people go to the net, but I encourage golfers to do a five or a 10 minute stretch before you go to golf, just to give your body a chance to warm up. So when you arrive on the first tee, you're ready to go, your body's ready to go. Uh, and, and like a runner, a runner doesn't start sprinting without some sort of warm up. So I think we have a responsibility as golfers to, to warm up our body. So. I like to encourage a movement that is very much around the spine, okay? I'm, 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 not, uh, I'm not, a, not a coach that encourages funky moves to create power because your average golfer can't be compared to a PGA Tour player. A lot of the Tour players out there right now are spending a great deal of time in the gym, strengthening and conditioning themselves to hit the ball hard and also um, create a lot of clubbing speed past the ball. But for our, us mere mortals, we have to be able to understand our capabilities. So firstly, we're going to have a look at three basic uh, stretches that we can do at home on the living room floor just to get you ready for your round. So the first stretch I want to talk about today is the, um, is the hamstring. Really important to release the hamstrings before you play golf, which is connected to the lower back and the glutes in the lower back as well, which are going to free up that movement to, uh, to allow your pivot to be stress free. I do this every day, I have to do it. I'm one of those, one of those golfers that wake up uh, with a sore back regularly. Another simple stretch is to simply lie on your back and pull your knees towards yourself and just rock back and forth, releasing that tension out of the lower body and of course getting some blood flow into the lower back is a great one. If you want to take it a step further, the third one I want to work on here is, is crossing your leg in front of your knee, pulling your knee towards you and, uh, and holding for 15 to 20 seconds and then you repeat with the opposite leg. Those three exercises are going to allow your body to get some circulation before you go to golf and of course give you a chance to be uh, nice and loose as we get to that first tee. Thanks for tuning in.